Welcome back guys, welcome to you learn. Uh, in my previous video I have shown how to print a single character. Yes, and now in this video I'm going to show you how to print an input, how to give an input first and then print it. Okay, let's begin. As usual, uh, we have to write those three lines dot model small. Or I, I, I'd like to write it in capital letters because I feel uh, comfortable that way it doesn't matter in my earlier video I have told you that uh, <clears throat> it doesn't matter you can write whether you write it on um, uppercase letters or lowercase letters because uh, it doesn't matter uh, you can write in both <coughs> uppercase and lowercase letters uh, because uh, assembly language is not uh, case sensitive so it's up to your wish I feel comfortable writing in <coughs> uppercase letters okay that was so that Told earlier you have to write the three lines. Okay, then main procedure. Okay, then in order to uh, give an input, we have to write this thing. This line move h comma one. E, to print an output, we have to write h comma two. And to uh, give an input, to give an input, we have to write move h comma one. Then interrupt into one h. Okay. Now let's do one thing <coughs> as we know that um, if, if you have uh, studied the uh, assembly language about assembly language uh, then uh, you must know that uh, when uh, we give an input to the system system automatically uh, by default uh, keeps that input that data in L register so uh, when I'm going to give an input uh, after move age comma 1 and interrupt into 1 that means uh, system is going to take an input and I'm giving an input so the input is in L register so uh, if you are now we have to print it so for printing it we have to keep it in DL register so to keep in DL register before keeping it in DL register we have to uh, keep that input in another register for example we can uh, do it in this way mm. move uh, BL comma AL okay because auto, uh, i have said earlier that uh, when we give an input system by default keeps in l register so we have to uh, move that uh, data from al to bl register it actually it doesn't move it just copies it and if we further give another input then uh, <coughs> that input will overwrite in al register the previous one it will override the previous one okay then we are, if you wish to print this input then we have to write move h comma two as usual in my previous video i have shown you that then move dl comma bl then interrupt 21 h then we have to end this program by move h comma two move no oh, sorry no no h comma four ch then interrupt 21 h then again Okay. Now, before I emulate this program, I have I just want to say one thing that uh, we have write, written that uh, move bl comma l. So we have to keep in mind that the register in the left, written in the left l, is the, whether it is l or bl anything. If it is written on the uh, right, sorry, written on the right, then it is uh, it is the source source source, and the register written in the left is the destination. Okay, let's let us write some comments. We have to write comments by uh, writing uh, comments. If we want to write comments, we have to just first write a semicolon. Then, if it turns green, then it's the comment. Okay, L is the source. Source. B L is the destination. Okay. Similarly, uh, I have told you earlier that uh, when we want to print something, we have to move the data to DL register. Similarly, we have moved from AL to BL. We will go. System will move the data. I will give the input. System will um, system will move AL the input from AL to BL because AL the, uh, AL the source, BL the destination. Again, when we have to print it, uh, the system will move the data from BL to DL. That input. Sorry. Okay. So let's see. One. Okay. Let us give an input B. Okay, double B. We have seen that we have first taken this first B. This first B is the input we have given, and the second B is the input we have printed. The same input we have printed. Okay, that's all for you guys. 
okay in next video i am going to show you how to print this input in next line thank you very much stay tuned please like comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned guys thank you very much